Good morning from Vintenburg. I am loving here. Got some nice rest last night. And as you can see behind me, look, that, that's the Castle Church. My Airbnb is right there. That's how close I am to where Martin Luther hung his 95 theses back on you know, October 31st, 1517. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, come with me as we uh, go through Vintenburg and uh, I'll show you around, all right? Some things in the air. My room is on the top right hand side. Very nice place, nice host, nice Airbnb host. His name is George. Very nice guy. Beautiful courtyard. By the way, George, by the way, George, my my host, he makes guitars. Guitars and string instruments. Pretty cool, huh? Has his own shop here. And uh, I can't wait to see what the shop looks like. Well folks, here I am at the Castle Church, otherwise known as All Saints Chapel. This is where Martin Luther hung his 95 Theses, right here at that doorway, right there. Now, I got a little treat here today. I've been to Vintenburg two other times, and I've never seen the doors open here on the side. So, uh, I'm going to try to go in there and, and check it out. So, come with me. Let's we'll, we'll see what happens. It's a pretty cool place. Right here at these doors on October 31st, 1517, Martin Luther is said to have posted his 95 theses in Latin on this very door. Now he was uh, debating his propositions with scholars. That, that was his whole point. And this academic uh, disputation was meant to establish whether the cell of indulgences truly coincided with Jesus' intentions in, in the Bible, which of course it didn't. So um, these old wooden doors that you see here, okay, it's not the, the original ones because uh, it was destroyed in a fire in 1760. But in 1858, uh, King Frederick William of Prussia, he funded the bronze door that you see right here, bearing the Latin theses, which can be seen nowadays as we see. So uh, that's pretty cool. All right, looks, looks like I'm going in. Pretty cool. Okay, that was totally cool. Yeah, folks, I wanna highly encourage you to uh, Google information about the Castle Church in Wittenberg. If you put Castle Church in Wittenberg, or even just Castle Church, this will come up. So uh, a lot of history here. There was a lot of, lot of add-ons later. You know, when Martin Luther was here, this tower was not here. That was done later, later on in the 1700s. But uh, the main building was there, all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's really neat. I'm gonna take you a little walk around around the building. So uh, let's go. Pretty cool fact is that uh, Martin Luther, he wrote that song, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, which I absolutely love. And uh, yeah, as you can see up there in the, I'm trying to get as close as I can. It's inscribed on the top. It's called A Mighty Fortress is Our God around, around the top there, inscribed there. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. All right, I zoomed in a little bit better. You can see it now, it's in German. A mighty fortress our God is around the, the ring of the tower there. Yeah, I wanna get a get a closer shot. Awesome possible. Well, here's the other side. Got the Castle Church right here. Pretty cool. Got some bell, bells ringing. Makes it kinda nice. There's a the side there. I found a door. I wonder if Martin Luther's in there. He's not in there. It's really cool to go back in time in your mind. You know, I got my Martin Luther book here, you know, just reading, sitting places where he sat and, and thought about stuff. It's just neat, you know, living history here. It's pretty awesome to learn about a man that was used by God. Martin Luther was just, just a man, okay? But he was used by God to get the word out, you know, to put the Bible out and to make it for all the people to hear. You know, that's pretty awesome, you know. Um, I, I, I praise Jesus Christ, okay, and praise the Father God, okay, 
but uh, it's, it's neat to just learn about a man that, uh, that was used by God for his purpose. As you can see, we're going to walk through this little courtyard here and go on the other side. All right, here's the courtyard behind the castle church. There's the back of the church right there. It's pretty neat. Here is something that I never noticed. There's some inscriptions here on the side of the, the back of the church here. I'd like to find out what these are and how long it's been there. I can't really tell the stone's so, so old, but uh, I'll certainly research it. The staircase here but uh there's a gate up there i tried i just went to this museum here it has all kinds of christian paintings and artwork uh from way back when it's definitely worth a shot to uh to visit um with that being said it costs five years to get in here but if you get the the tour card at the tour center it's only 1960 19 euros 60 cent and uh you get in all these places uh well not for free because you pay 1960 but a lot cheaper if you pay five bucks five euros or whatever it is each time so uh something to think about here's what the car looks like by the way right here so make sure you get that you'll you'll save some dough or should i say your rose i'm really enjoying my time here in Wittenberg. it's very nice to see all these uh flowers here in germany being uh the end of september and flowers are still blooming so that's pretty cool i love all these uh sidewalk restaurants i call them <laughs> pretty cool I will say this in due fashion, I'm getting pretty hungry. The smells are just taking over my nostrils. Now we're getting into the, the market plots here, which is pretty cool. Stay tuned. You are here at the market plots right here in Vintonbury, and I stumbled across this pharmacy here that was actually <laughs> acquired by this guy named uh, Painter Lucas Kranich back in, in the 1500s, 1518 to be exact, about a year after the 95 Theses. And uh, he moved his family here and he has a workshop he had a workshop in the back, and he also built another workshop, workshop um, at another location, but he still kept this one here, and the pharmacy. And here it is 2022, 20, and the pharmacy is still here. So I'm about to check out the, the Kranich Apotheke. Come to find out, not only it is a pharmacy still and a workshop in the back, but it's also a hotel up top. Hmm, somebody was thinking. Ah, it's pretty cool back here. Very nice, very nice. I love all this old stuff. If buildings could talk, I wonder what they will say sometimes. Pretty neat, huh? You find all kinds of cubby holes in Germany. Look at this. <laughs> I love it. Here's some kind of press. That's pretty neat. Got some flyers. You know, these are replicas of what was uh, printed way back when. The mighty fortress of our God. Awesome. Oh, but the picture is good. And you can see here a man. It's a man play harp and look over the window. In the front, a book. Uh, and he played harp, yeah. A book. Uh, and the name of the book, Bible. And behind, a crown. And the people, man and crown is a king. And king with a harp and a Bible, King David. And I King see. David was sort of a poor man. He was the first preacher of his music. Under the picture, a one. The people, sort of one, time one, time two, three, four, five, six. And the people can change the text behind and learn so, read and write. Over the picture. One. And the people bought not the book Bible, then the people bought, uh, uh, has not printed, bought the double pages. Nice. And the price for double page was very, very easy uh, around 6x or 5x wow i wish i would have recorded each and every uh word that man was saying but he, he gave me the full history on crying out what a what a awesome guy this was to uh spend time with me 
Um, all those leaflets that you saw were actually replicas of, of uh, prints that was printed way back in the 1500s, including the, the 95 theses and, and um, all kinds of stuff. A Mighty Forces are our God and, and everything else that you saw there. There's so many. I'll, I'll be here forever, but this is pretty awesome. You get a chance to stop over in Wittenberg, it'll be a good time to spend spend some time here and, and, and uh, learn. I love learning history where it happened. You know what I mean? Let's go. Here we are on the downtown market place here, the market square, and uh, such a beautiful place to be. Good place to get a sandwich and spaghetti ice. I think I need some spaghetti ice, but I need to eat first, right? Yeah, I think so. It's such a pretty town. I'm glad I'm spending time here. Here is Philip Valencian's uh, statue right here in the market place. Pretty cool. There's Martin Luther's statue from a distance here because there's something in front, but uh, you get an idea. I'm not going there yet, but if you see those two towers, that's where Martin Luther preached. Over 2,300 sermons. However, I will be going by there, so hang tight. The skies are pretty today. So is this town. Got me a buck burst. Not a brat burst, but a buck burst. Mm. Mint stuff. Of course, I gotta wash it down with something. Fanta? Well, I just went to Cranick's house as a museum. It was a big house too. Tons of paintings. Man, he, he was very talented. Tons of paintings, artifacts, and all that good stuff. So uh, make sure you check out this museum as well when you're in Wittenberg. I love all the bicycles and the little stream running through, through the town. Pretty neat. Wittenberg is considered a small town, but it has a lot of stuff, a lot of history. Let's go check out Johann Faust. See if he's home. I don't think so. He lived there from 1525 to 1532. I don't think he's home. Let's check out Luther's University here. Martin Luther University, right here in Wittenberg. Here we are, the Alte University, which is the oldest university here, right here in Wittenberg. Pretty awesome. Well, guess what I did? This is a working university. I walked in on a class. <laughs> My name's Darren. <laughs> I need some spaghetti eyes. Behind me is Philip Melichon's house. I messed up that mess, that last name, but I know it's Philip. This is Philip's house back here. So I'm about to go in there and uh, check out the museum. So I'll be back. This is the back of Philip's house, Melichon. That's pretty cool. And back here is a garden. That's where they grew all their, their herbs and vegetables and everything. That, that's pretty neat. I'm not filming inside. I just want to come out, come outside and give you this little tidbit. I'll be back. That was incredible. I just got out of Philip Melichon's house. And it was great. Uh, I saw where, how he lived, where he lived, where he passed away. Uh, got to re read all the artifacts, you know, his last words and all that stuff. So that was really neat. Tons of paintings everywhere and, and uh, tons of coins and artifacts and Bibles. You got you got to check this out for sure. All right, I'm about to walk into Luther House. This is the very place where Martin Luther lived. Uh, he worked here, lived and worked here for 35 years. He moved in this building as a monk back in 1508. Uh, four years, four years after you know, had been a monastery, Augustine monastery. Uh, of course, he was a professor of theology, and as we're prepared, all his lectures, you know, talk about the righteousness of God, uh, how the gospel, how it's revealed, how the righteousness of God is, is revealed in the gospel. So, uh, tons of history. I can't wait to to check it out. I've been here twice on the outside, but it was always closed. So I'm looking forward to it. Augustine Luther House. Awesome possum. Oh, this Martin Luther. Hello. The Augustinum is right there on the left-hand side as we go across. And the Luther house is right over there, which will be there in just a second. Cool. Well, you know me and water fountains. So beautiful. Well, what do you know is Martin Luther's wife, Katharina Bambora. She lived from 1499 to 1552. How you doing? So here we are at the front of the Luther House, which is in the back side of the complex here. I can't wait to go in there. Well, folks, I just spent about two and a half hours in the Luther House, and it was great. Got to see how Martin Luther lived and run the old rooms and stuff like that. All kinds of artifacts, publications that he that was printed. It was, it was just great. My, my heart's just going pitter-patter right now because uh, stuff that I read about, I'm actually seeing and viewing for myself and coming here. Yeah, you just get a feel of, wow, I'm here where they're at. I don't know. I just love that. I think I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I recommend anybody that's interested to definitely come to Wittenberg. Trust me, you'll be thanking me later. 
I found my ice cafe right here in Bentonburg. It was good, don't it? Welcome to the Town Church where Martin Luther preached over 2,300 sermons. More to come in future videos, so stay tuned. Hey folks, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here right now. It's been a long day, and uh, what an informative day that I have had. I learned so much. Being here, walking in history, walking the footsteps of, uh, of Martin Luther, it's just really neat to uh, uh, to be here and just experience this. Uh, like I said, I've been here uh, two times before, but I uh, never really spent as much time as I did today in two times <laughs> that I've been here, so uh, um, it is totally awesome. Make sure you uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this and many more videos like this. And uh, and we'll see you next time. We'll see you next week because I put out videos each and every week at the present time. So uh, I hope to see you around. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and uh, y'all have a great day. All right. And don't forget, I have a Facebook group page, same title as my channel. And we can interact and uh, we put pictures and videos, not only me, but everybody in the group, they share they share their their stuff. So I uh, hope to see you then. I'm just anxious.